friends. This is going to be a little video. This is going to be one of our take a break, move around, get the wiggles out videos um, that you might be using for a lot of reasons, but you might be using it with school. So, um, we're going to play I Spy. Here's my I Spy game. We're going to either try to spy something that's blue, orange, green, or red, and we're going to find one of each and then we're gonna do the movement that goes with that color. So first, let's try to spy something blue. Look around where you're at and see in your room, do you see something blue? Hmm, there's gotta be something blue in this room. I know, I have a blue monster truck. Here's my blue thing. What's the thing that you found in your room that's blue? Did you find something blue? All right, I spied my blue thing, and now you spied your blue thing, and that means that we're gonna do one of these movement activities. Let's do the first one. Oh, jumping jacks with our feet only. All right, if you don't know how to do jumping jacks, here's how it goes. I'm gonna stand up, let's see. Let me do it so you can see my feet. Since it says feet only, with our feet together on the floor. And then we're gonna jump our feet out and back in. Let's do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. All right, woo, we did our five feet jumping jacks. Okay, now it's time to spy the next thing. Let's spy something orange. All right, look around the room. See if you see anything that looks orange. Hmm. I know what I see. I see an orange triangle. This is a magnet toy that my son likes to play with. All right, I found an orange triangle. What orange thing did you spy? Did you find something orange? Orange is a little bit trickier. All right, now that you found your orange thing, Let's pick one of the activities from the orange list. Hmm, I think I wanna pick this one in the middle. Ball curls. So here's what we're gonna do for this one. You need a ball or a stuffed animal or a toy. I'm gonna use this bear. And we're gonna stand up and curl it. So that means, oh, I still didn't make it tall enough. Let me do this. There we go, now you can see me. We're gonna start with our arms straight out. So your elbow's straight and your wrist straight. And then we're gonna lift it up. We'll do 10. I'm just bending my elbows up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, we did 10 of those arm lifts. Let's see what the next thing that we have to spy is. Let's find out the next color. Ooh, the next color is green. All right, look around, see if you spy something green. You can kind of spy a green tree out my window. Hmm, something green in this room. Oh, I see this. I have a green letter Z. These letters that my kids like to play with. Well, I found my green thing. Did you find something green in your room? Now that we've spied our green things, we have to pick something from the green list. Let's see, I think I'll pick this one. Wall push-ups. All right, let me show you how this one works. We're gonna find a wall. Oh, let me make sure this is high up enough. We'll find a wall. Put your hands up at how high your shoulders are. And put your hands up on the wall and lean forward till you're almost touching the wall and then push yourself back. Lean forward and push back. Like you're doing a push up, but you're pushing yourself forward and back instead of pushing yourself up and down off of the ground. I think I did five, so I'll do five more. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, 
there was 10 wall push-ups. Now we have to find the last thing in the I Spy game. The last color is red. All right, let's see. Can you find something red in your room? Hmm. I see something red. This red airplane. This will be my red thing. What's the red thing that you found? Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, so I'll be patient. What do you think? Did you find anything that's red? All right, now that we found a red thing, we have to go and do one of the red activities. I think that I will pick this one. Oh, that's kind of like what we did earlier. I'll pick this one. I want us to do something different each time. Popcorn. All right. We're going to lay down on our back like we're a popcorn kernel. A popcorn kernel is the little hard pieces of popcorn that you find in your popcorn. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to lift our knees up and lift our head up and try to curl up in a little ball as long as you can. Stay in that little kernel. So I'm going to lift my knees up and my head up. I'm lifting my head off of the ground and I'm lifting my feet off of the ground and I'm holding with my arms. Hold, hold, hold. Hold as long as you can and then when you get tired, clap. Ah, I popped out. I popped out of my popcorn. I'm gonna try it again and see if I can hold even longer this time. Here I go. I'm lifting my head up off of the ground and I'm lifting my knees and my bottom up off of the ground and I'm holding. Maybe I could even roll back and forth a little bit. Roll side to side, roll to kind of wiggle my back out, and then when I get too tired, pop! I popped out of the popcorn! Well, we did four activities and four I spies, and we did it in about, by the time this video is done, I think it'll be about eight minutes. So, there was our movement break of the day. We got our wiggles out. Now it's time to do the next thing. So I hope this helps you focus a little bit on whatever the next thing is that you have to do. And if you need another movement break later, you can click on one of the other movement break videos. I'll see you later.